Best-selling author and illustrator Mo Willems is taking one of his beloved characters on a holiday adventure. That character, well, 20 years ago, The Pigeon made his debut in the children's classic Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. It is still on shelves, including mine. The Pigeon's gone on to star in eight other books, museum exhibits, even a musical. Now Willems and his <laughs> beloved bird are back with Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Sleigh, the pigeon's first holiday book. Mo, thank you for being here. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Good I'm morning. so happy to be here. Good morning to you. Now, over Pigeon's long career, the character mm -hmm. has been described as conniving and cranky and insistent, and none of these words suggest holiday cheer. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, you write what you know. Um, I think, you know, it took me a long time to write a holiday book because there was an expectation that you would do that. And so I wanted to find some kind of a twist. I think that the Pigeon does have a little bit of the bah humbug mm. in him him, and I think that's okay, right? You don't yeah. always have to be joyous and happy and like a dancing bear having a great time. Sometimes you can be an angry pigeon. Well, one thing you do need on the subject of being an angry pigeon is a page in a Mo Willems book involving the pigeon where there is some yelling. Yes. The, and this book has that. that is, the yelling page. The yelling yes. page. Yeah. Yes, the all caps page. Right. Can we find it? Do you want to do the yeah, honors sure, on Sure, sure. Well, this is, uh, but the patent is pending on the Mo Willems yelling page. Um, what was your thinking about a yelling page? Well, you know, I think that the one of the aspects of being a child is you're not heard. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, not yeah. listened to. Mm -hmm. Like, I make sure that my characters break the fourth wall, that they talk to you, yeah. because you, as a reader, as a kid, are not often seen. And some kids don't even realize that they are seeable. And told mm -hmm. to quiet down yeah. a lot. Right. So how do you read the yelling so, page? So here we go, the yelling page. And also, look, I know this is going to be read in a library. This yes. is punk rock. Okay. That's what I'm talking well, about. We're in the middle of Rage the library, against the machine. Right? Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, so you ready? Uh -oh. you got to you give me the nose, okay. though, because it only works with a good nose. Okay, okay. Right? So I can turn the page and I go, let me drive the sleigh! <laughs> no! no! <sighs> <laughs> well, well, what, what was your thinking in the look of the pigeon? And you've never given pigeon a name. Yeah, well, the pigeon's first name is The. Is what? The. The, okay, the, okay. Because the. the pigeon, well, and this was the thing, when I first created the pigeon, the people said, should it be Petey or whatnot? I'm like, I don't want it to be gendered. I don't want it to be cultured. Yeah. I want it to be something that is you. Every kid can identify. Every kid can see that in and the country, in the city. And what was the look the you city. wanted for the? I wanted the uh -huh. pigeon uh -huh. to be able to be drawn by a five-year-old. Okay. Oh. So it's as simple a form. It's letters and shapes, because I am less interested in the book than in the spark. Oh, I fun. want a kid at the end of reading this book to say, I could do this. I could make my own pigeon book. And once we create authors and illustrators that are young, what we are doing when you draw, it's physical empathy. Mm. Mm. We are creating empathetic people by sparking them through literature. Wow. Mm. Empathy and inspiration for the yes. next generation the of young writers and authors and, and illustrators. Um, yes. This covers some traditions. Like yes. leaving cookies out for Santa. Right. Um, so I got to ask you, what traditions did you, did you have growing up? Well, I I grew up, uh, so a lot of my traditions were Dutch, and now my family has created our own tradition. What's that? So my favorite one is letter from the past, letter from the future. Huh. So every time we put our Christmas decorations away, yeah. we write a letter to our future self. Oh. Dear Willems is of the future. We're gonna steal that. How was your Me year? Too. <laughs> what did you do? How was your year? How did it go? And then when we open them up, we get this letter from the past. Wow. How was your year? What are you doing? How do things go? And that came from this idea that we wanted to make sure that our son was the captain of the tree, that the tree was fun. And so we wrote a note, remember tricks of the that. captain of the tree. Yes. And then our son said, well, what else can we write? How's the dog? How was school this yeah, year? Did you take great. that trip? Remember that thing you were stressed yeah. about? That's how, did exa that how did that work 20 out? years plus, Mo, and yeah. you're still going strong, and people still, still adore yeah. you, and the That's children of America, and the adults too. Yeah. That's very kind. And some of those first oh, five-year-olds who read the book are now adults themselves. Yes. Yes. We'll talk about how they're responding to reading it to their own kids with your next installment, okay? Rock on. Come back soon. Rock on. Rock on. Meantime, <laughs> don't let the pigeon drive the sleigh on sale right now. <laughs>